Now let's start with today's lesson. Topic 3, Our World and Topic 4, Let's Play. This is the content standard and learning standard for today's lesson. And the skills that we are going to focus on today is reading and listening. Learning objective. By the end of the lesson, students should be able to talk about daily routines, describe their daily routines using the words always, usually, and sometimes, and talk about leisure activities. Success criteria for today's lesson. By the end of the lesson, I can answer five out of six questions related to the text a day in the life of correctly, use the word always, sometimes, and never in a sentence correctly, and list down six out of nine leisure activities learned from the textbook. Now, open your student's book to page 8 and we are going to read a text titled A Day in the Life of. Are you ready? We are going to start with the vocabulary section first at the top of your page. Module 1. Our World. Vocabulary. Ice skating rink. Ice skate. Play chess. Football. Play badminton. Activity 1. What do Megan and Pablo do every day? Listen and read. Social studies. A day in the life of... A figure skater. Megan, 9. Megan usually goes to the ice skating rink at half past six in the morning. She goes to school at a quarter to eight. After school, she does her homework. Megan sometimes watches TV after dinner. She always goes to bed at 8 o'clock at night. A chess player. Pablo. 10. Pablo goes to school at a quarter past 8. After school, Pablo doesn't go home. He always goes to the chess club and plays chess. He usually goes home at 6 o'clock in the evening. After he does his homework, Pablo has dinner. He sometimes plays chess on his computer. Pablo usually goes to bed at 9 o'clock. Now, uh, look at page 9 in your student's book. First, we are going to answer comprehension question. Okay, look at activity 2. Read again and answer the questions. Number 1. Does Megan go to school at 20 to 8? The answer has been provided for you. No, she doesn't. Now look at number 2. Does Pablo go to school at a quarter past 8? Hmm? Yes or no? Number three. Does Pablo always go home after school? Look at the text at page eight to get the answer. Okay? Number four. Does Megan usually ice skate in the morning? Yes or no? Does she or doesn't she? Number five. 
Does Pablo watch TV after dinner? And number six, does Megan do her homework after school? Okay, class, pause this video first and answer all these questions. Okay, pause first. And then after you finish, you can play back. Now, let's look at the answers. Okay, number one has been provided for you, the answer. Number two, does Pablo go to school at a quarter past eight? Yes, he does. Does Pablo always go home after school? No, he doesn't. Okay, number four, does Megan usually ice skate in the morning? Yes, she does. Does Pablo watch TV after dinner? No, he doesn't. And number six, does Megan do her homework after school? Yes, she does. How many did you get correct? Let me know when you message me, okay? Now, look at the top of your page in textbook. You can see this yellow box with a blue bird. And four sentences. I always skate before dinner. You usually play baseball after school. He sometimes play chess. They never play volleyball. If you notice, all four of these words is in red. And for always, the red is full, 100%. For usually, the red is 75%. For sometimes, the rate is 50%, while with never, the rate is zero. What does this mean? Let's look at the meaning of these words always, usually, sometimes, and never. Okay, class, the word always, usually, sometimes, and never are adverbs. What are adverbs? Adverbs give us more information about a verb. Did you remember what verb is? Kata kerja. Adverbs adalah perkataan yang memberikan kita lebih info tentang kata kerja atau perbuatan. Example, sit quietly. Quietly is an adverb. Duduk dengan senyap. Perkataan senyap ni menerangkan dia duduk macam mana. So, quietly is an adverb. So, for always, always, usually, sometimes, and never belongs to adverbs of frequency. Okay? Adverbs of frequency tell us how often an activity happen. Memberitahu kita beberapa kerap aktiviti itu berlaku. Okay? That is adverb of frequency. Kekerapan perbuatan tu. So, for always, it's 100%. Means, selalu. Usually, 80%. Biasanya, selalunya. Sometimes, 50%. Kadang-kadang. And never, 0%. Tak pernah buat perbuatan itu. So, if you look at this example, I always skate before dinner. So, I is the subject. Always is the adverb that explain the main verb, which is skate. Can you understand that? Now, move on to the next one. Now, let's look at activity three. Listen and write always, usually, sometimes, or never. Are you ready? We are going to listen to a recording. Activ activity three. Listen. And write always, usually, sometimes, or never. One. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Harry. What are you doing after school? Do you want to come to the shops with me? Sorry, Jenny. We can't come. We have chess on Thursdays. We usually have chess on Thursdays, Ryan. But today is Wednesday. So, can you come? Of course we can. 
Two. Hi, Jane. Oh, hi, Craig. What's that? Oh, this is my new computer game, Tiki's Adventure. Do you want to come over to my house and play with me? Sorry, Craig. I can't. I never play computer games after school. I always do my homework after school. I always play computer games at the weekend. Oh, okay. Do you want to come on Saturday then? Sure. Three. Hey, Justin. Where's Faye? Hmm. What time is it? It's half past four. Why? Faye always ice skates at half past four. Let's go watch her ice skate. That's a great idea. Four. Hello, Mrs. Carter. Is Rob home? I'm sorry, Claire. He's not here. He sometimes goes skateboarding at the park on warm days. Oh yeah, my brother sometimes goes skateboarding with him. Thank you, Mrs. Carter. Bye. Activity three. Listen and write always, usually, sometimes, or never. One. Hey Ryan. Hey Harry. What are you doing after school? Do you want to come to the shops with me? Sorry, Jenny. We can't come. We have chess on Thursdays. We usually have chess on Thursdays, Ryan. But today is Wednesday. So can you come? Of course we can. Two. Hi, Jane. Oh, hi, Craig. What's that? Oh, this is my new computer game, Tiki's Adventure. Do you want to come over to my house and play with me? Sorry, Craig. I can't. I never play computer games after school. I always do my homework after school. I always play computer games at the weekend. Oh, okay. Do you want to come on Saturday then? Sure. Three. Hey, Justin. Where's Faye? Hmm. What time is it? It's half past four. Why? Faye always ice skates at half past four. Let's go watch her ice skate. That's a great idea. Four. Hello, Mrs. Carter. Is Rob home? I'm sorry, Claire. He's not here. He sometimes goes skateboarding at the park on warm days. Oh yeah, my brother sometimes goes skateboarding with him. Thank you, Mrs. Carter. We have just finished listening to the recording twice. Did you get the answers? Are you sure? Okay, now I'm going to reveal the correct answers. But please make sure that you have finished your work before you view this. Okay, are you ready? So number one is Ryan and Harry usually play chess on Thursday. Number two, Jane never plays computer games after school. She always does her homework, right? Number three, Faye always ice skates at half past four and number four rob sometimes goes skateboarding in the park so did you get all correct look at activity four then talk about your day okay look here i sometimes watch tv after dinner now for these activities, what you need to do is you have to read this and ask yourself, get up at 7 o'clock. Do you always get up at 7 o'clock or you usually get up at 7 o'clock or you sometimes wake up at 7 o'clock or you never wake up at 7 o'clock? Okay, and then you ask yourself, play football. Did you always play football? or you never play football okay you tick at the one that you feel uh, you have done in your everyday life 
Okay, look here. Ask yourself, do you do homework after school? Always do your homework after school or sometimes you do it after school or you never do your homework. Okay, ask yourself. Now, uh, take out your workbook. This is from your workbook, page 5. Okay, now we are going to do exercise in our workbook, page 5. Look here. The first activity. Go to page 9 in the student's book and look at activity 4. Then write about your day. Remember what I asked you just now, activity 4. Okay, here is activity 4 in your textbook. So, based on what you tick here, you write back here. Okay, apa yang kamu tanda di sini, tulis semula di sini. Now, after you finish writing this, please send a picture to me. That is activity 1. Activity 2. Okay, we have Kim here and we have a table, okay, with five activities. Go ice skating, do homework, sleep, watch TV, play chess. We also have here four yellow box, three yellow box, two yellow box, and zero yellow box. So from here, we can say that this one is always. Second one is usually the third one is sometimes and the last one is never now you look at where it was thick number one kim sometimes okay number one have been written for you kim sometimes goes ice skating after school which one is sometimes here and the first activity ice skating now, number two, she, uh, what is this? This is always. She always does her homework after school. Okay, did you understand how to do this? Okay, I'm going to stop. And now you are going to pause this video and finish this first. Okay, stop this video first and finish this activity and then we are going to look at the answers. Okay, I'm sure you have done all your work. So now let's look at the correct answers. Okay, number two. Okay, this one. She always does her homework after school. Number three, this one. Okay, sleep here. She never sleeps after school. Number four, watch TV here. She sometimes watch TV after school. And the last one is play chess. Here, she usually play chess after school.